What's up, Pack Nation? It is Pack Gaming here, and we have our seventh roster update of NBA 2K18. You saw yesterday, if you saw my video, I talked about how I think they should be fixing the roster update and they should change it. I guess maybe they watched that video or something because they uploaded a roster update literally the day right after that. So we're going to talk about that in this video, and also I'm doing quickly a 35,000 VC giveaway for NBA 2K18. And if you want to win that, all you have to do and subscribe to my channel follow me on twitter and then tweet at me done once you do that guys i'll put you in a randomizer and you could win free vc who doesn't want that and before we start this roster update video remember i don't talk about every single roster change i just talk about the important ones for every single team now we are on the philadelphia 76ers because that's where we start and only two really important changes and that's the two best players on the team Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons both go plus one. Joel Embiid with a 90 overall and Ben Simmons with an 84 overall, making Ben Simmons the highest rated rookie in NBA 2K18. Tied with someone else, but we'll get there. The next one on the Bucks, nothing too important, but Tony Snell, my eye. What is going on? Sorry. Hold on. Ugh, it's fighting me. Sorry. It is Tony Snell loses one overall from a 74 to a 73 i remember he was actually doing pretty good last season so it's kind of sad to see him all the way down to 73 but the bucks are still doing okay so oh well on the bulls the most important thing is their official best player is zach levine from a 79 overall up to an 81 overall the return of the man he started off shaky but he also came off an injury now he's doing pretty solid in his return it's crazy to think that but once zach levine larry Bobby Portis, Robin Lopez have all been considered the best player on this team at one point this season, and Miritich. So there's only two really important things on the Cleveland Cavaliers, and you'd think it'd be more now that the team's completely different. But Jeff Green loses one overall, so leaves the 80 overall club. And surprisingly, Larry Nance Jr., Rodney Hood, Jordan Clarkson, and George Hill, all the people they picked up did not change at all so far. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. And someone fan favorite. Seti Osman goes from a 70 to a 74, a plus four change. One of the biggest upgrades in this roster update. Terry Rozier goes from a 75 to a 77, so a plus two overall. It was funny because he was a 76, he got a triple double, they dropped him to a 75 for no reason, and now they go him up to a 77. They keep moving this man, but he's a good player. And I'm glad they gave him an upgrade. The Clippers get DeAndre Jordan with a plus one from an 85 to an 86, making him officially the best player on the Clippers right now. But from my understanding, I think he's injured. I think. I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, I'm actually not sure. But Lou Williams is now the second best player on the team. They were tied. The Grizzlies get no change. I couldn't find anything. And the same thing goes for the Hawks. No change. Mr. Miami himself, Dwayne Wade, leaves the 80 overall club again this season. Is now a 79 overall. It's crazy to think that Dwayne Wade is now a 79 overall on the Heat. Like, he's the third best player on this team. When's the last time you said Dwayne Wade was the third best player on the Heat? Never. Also, Josh Richardson goes plus two from a 76 to a 78. A good upgrade for him. Clutch Kemba, plus one from an 85 to an 86. He was tied with Dwight Howard for best player on this team. Now officially Kemba is the best player. So also tied for best rookie of the season, Donovan Mitchell from an 83 to an 84. Speaking of Donovan Mitchell and Ben Simmons, who do you think is actually gonna be rookie of the year? This has been a question that's been brought up. I think it's gonna be the team that ends up in the playoffs. It's probably Ben Simmons, but Donovan Mitchell's also been really surprising and really good. But what do you guys think? I wanna know in the comments, who is the best rookie of the season? Also, Alec Burks goes from a 78 to a 76, so a minus two. No real rating change for the Kings, but Amon Schumbert's on the team. I don't know if I ever mentioned that, so there you go. Surprisingly, nothing changed for my Knicks. I checked every player, nothing. Time to talk about the biggest loser of this roster update for NBA 2K18. Surprisingly, Isaiah Thomas goes from an 86 to an 82, a big drop. Kind of annoying. I think he just hasn't been given the right chance yet. He just came off an injury, guys. I know he, is, it's weird. This why this dude was a 91 overall in NBA 2K17, now he's an 82. That's just such an insane drop. Brandon Ingram goes plus one, so officially for the first time in his career in the 80 overall club. And I think that's appropriate but he's, ne he's never been the best player on this team rating wise and Isaiah Thomas ruined it for him. Congrats Isaiah Thomas, are you proud? Also maybe 2K heard y'all, but y'all were saying that Josh Hart needed an upgrade now and he got that, a plus four upgrade from a 70 to a 74. Pretty good for him. For the Magic, Mario Hazonia, who's actually been playing really well, 
from a 74 to a 76, so a plus two for him. The Mavericks got absolutely nothing. What can you say? I feel like Dennis Smith Jr. has been playing a little better. I don't know. That's just my opinion. For the Nets, Allen Crabb from a 73 to a 75. I actually believed Allen Crabb was going to be really good on the Nets. I was wrong, but he's doing better. So who knows, right? I might be right. I also thought Spencer Dinwiddie was going to be the greatest player in NBA history, and I was right. That's right. I don't understand Nikola Jokic, but he got a plus one. I know he's good, but I don't know if he's an 88 overall. This is the only player in 2K where I'm always like, is he, should he, is he really an 88 overall? I don't know. Nuggets fans know way better than me. No real change for the Pacers, but Glenn Robinson III comes back from an injury, so that's a thing. There's two changes for the Pelicans. Drew Holiday finally back on that 80 overall club with a plus one, and then Nikola Miritich on the bubble from an 81 to an 80, so it loses one. Reggie Bullock keeps going up and up and up from a 75 now to a 76. He's just been growing and growing this season, so good for him. A lot of changes for the Toronto Raptors, the number one team in the East. Jonas Valanciunas goes from an 82 to an 83, and he had that sick game-tying, buzzer-beating dunk last night, so that was cool. But he's not really the story of the Raptors, it is the bench. DeLon Wright plus two, Siakam, plus two van fleet plus two all these guys go from a 74 to a 76 this bench has been on fire the rockets surprisingly absolutely nothing you think one of the most popular teams in the nba and well one of the best teams in the nba would get something but nothing for the spurs my spurs well i mean i live here rudy gay goes well goes nowhere he just he's not injured anymore so there but no, no real change for the spurs sorry alfred payton goes from a 74 to a 78 so a little better that usually happens when they go to new teams because they're trying to prove a point but i believe once alfred payton shaves his hair he's gonna be one of the best players in the nba that's not true but he's gonna be a good nba player i think so also the rookie josh jackson who was struggling for most of the season has been doing pretty solid lately so he might kind of figure it out what he's trying to do who knows the thunder nothing for some reason same thing goes with the Timberwolves, even though Jimmy Butler's injured, so that's going to change soon. But J Jimmy Jonah, he'll be back. He's only going to be injured for like a month, so. Uh, Blazers got no real, like, rating changes, but I didn't know Brandon Rush was on the Portland Trailblazers. That might be new. That might not be new. I think that's new. So there you go. The Warriors, absolutely nothing. Another team that they didn't want to touch. All these good teams, they just didn't touch them. And then finally, on the Wizards, Otto Porter goes plus one. He's good, man. And then Thomas... Sadoransky got that right goes plus two i did not know he was actually pretty decent i mean 77 overall is not bad at all i didn't know but i'm sure you wizards fans knew and that's actually it for this video guys is there any player that you think maybe they should have upgraded them or 2k did them dirty leave it in the comments below if you like my channel please give my channel a sub and i'll see you guys next time did you call bank